This is how we're finding this park every morning. Shards of glass on the ground kicked off sprinkler heads and ripped up irrigation systems, bent picnic tables and bulletin boards ripped out. This is our, our men's restroom here at Island Park. Um, we had two urinals that were both kicked off. This is just some of the vandalism that Idaho Falls Parks and Recreation Director PJ Holmes says they are dealing with on a weekly basis in city parks. We're definitely seeing an, an uptick in the amount of vandalism that we're, we're having. We always see issues with, with you know, people littering and, and breaking a few things, but now we're seeing kind of even more malicious uh, acts. PJ says this is the worst he's seen in his nine year career with the city. The vandalism has been happening in parks like Community, Toffis, Freeman, Old Butte, Highland, and along the Riverwalk. Just kind of becoming a, a concern that, that's gone beyond graffiti and and kind of the, these, these lighter hearted vandalism uh, issues that we've had in the past to really um, to some, some serious um, breaking that, that's costing the city money and, and costing the, the community tax dollars. How much money has this cost the city of Idaho Falls to repair the damages? Well, it's cost them nearly $10,000. And it's not just in the city of Idaho Falls that's dealing with these issues. The city of Ammon posted on their Facebook saying their splash pad was vandalized in two recent incidents. As a result, they shut down because it wasn't running properly. They are back open now and the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office is investigating. In Roberts, the Jim Moore Pond had graphic graffiti written on the docks. In Rigby, mailboxes were trashed and destroyed. So why is all of this vandalism happening? Nobody knows for sure, but... One of the things that, that's been tough to see over the last year of, uh, of a pandemic is just the, the, the fact that, that folks are spending a lot more time at home, spending time alone and, and um, not having maybe the supervision that they typically had because parents are still working or whatever. PJ says he's hoping to solve this issue as a community. We want to start a program that, that is uh, going to be a park steward program that, that neighbors and, and folks that live around the parks can just keep an extra eye out. For now, two Idaho Falls police officers are currently assigned full time patrolling the city parks. PJ says if you see something, say something. In Idaho Falls, Andrea Olson, eastidahonews.com.